Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney Marlowe Weeks. If you don't know who I am, thank you for tuning in. If you do know who I am, thank you for coming back. Today's video is based on what we're going to eat in a day to lose weight, how I maintain my weight, what I eat to lose weight, all of those good things. Just to preface, last week I had events back to back to back to back to back, so there was a lot of eating out, there was a lot of oils, saturated fats, carbs, sugars, all of those bad things. I did not budge that much on the scale. I think I'm only up like a half a pound, but that's because I'm bloated. I haven't been taking my apple cider vinegar pills. So technically we're still like 13 pounds down. I did weigh myself, I'm at like 177.5, so we're just gonna round that up. What I did do to make sure I was maintaining my weight since I knew that I was going to literally be at, I think I was at, I think I was at four events last week out of seven days, like back to back to back. I drink a lot of water. I should have took my apple cider vinegar pills, but I just realistically was not, to be honest with you guys. And I was also working out every single day. Like every single day I was just getting up, going to the gym. And in my mind, I was like, Sydney, if you want to go to this event today, you have to go work out. And that's what I did. I just did like a quick two mile run. Running is what works best for me. Then I come home and I do like a little ab and arm like circuit, like with weights and stuff like that. However, today we are just going to go for a run at the gym. It is raining this week in Philly, so I'm probably going to be at the gym more, more so than outside. But I went food shopping yesterday. I got all of my noms that I am going to be eating this week. And I want to show you guys what I eat in a day, how many calories, how many calories I burn at my workout, and um, how I track all of this. So I'm going to go to the gym now. I know I'm looking super busted. It's really early in the morning, but I just want to get this over with. Then I'll be back when I'm showered, I'm changed, and I'm ready to eat. Okay, so it is now breakfast time technically. It is going on, it's currently 11.19 a.m. My fast was over at 11 o'clock, but I'm just going. First things first, I am going to take some supplements. So I'm just taking my daily vitamin, and then I'm going to be taking my apple cider vinegar pills you guys know about this i take two every morning it just helps with bloating digestion and also weight loss today i have a plantain it is not as ripe as i want it if you don't know plantain should be black like it should be like this color all around on the actual banana peel because that's when it's at its most ripest people think when it turns black it's actually like gone bad but it's actually when it's the sweetest so it's okay i'm going to fry it up so it'll be fine then I have one egg right here and I'm going to add some egg whites and a little bit of Parmesan cheese and parsley. That's been like my go-to breakfast with two slices of bacon. This bacon's from Trader Joe's and if you didn't know, you can have two slices for 60 calories. I think that's absolutely amazing for bacon. And yeah, I'm just gonna make some Maduro and then also a little bit of an omelet and some bacon. Okay, so we have breakfast. This was 387 calories. We have two slices of bacon, a whole plantain, and a quick tip, if your plantain isn't ripened yet, you can cover it. So like take something to cover your pan and it's gonna steam the banana, which makes it caramelize easier. So I have a whole plantain and then I have one egg with some egg whites, a little Parmesan cheese and some parsley, a little salt and pepper, and that is breakfast. It is 11.44. Oh, <laughs> my mom's telling me to say another tip. So another tip is also, if you have a smaller plate, it looks like you're eating a lot more food. It's all like a mind trick and a mental ability to kind of trick yourself to be like, I'm not hungry, this is enough food. Throw out those big plates. Yeah, throw out the big plates, get you some smaller plates. So this is just what I'm eating for breakfast, but this is really hearty and a plantain is a lot more starchier than a banana, so it's gonna fill me up for a little while. So um, it's 11.45, I'm gonna go eat now and then I'll be back for my snack. So I'm back, it is around two o'clock. I have a nail appointment, I gotta get my claws done. I gotta get that done at 2.30, so I just kinda woke up from a nap, but don't mind me. So I'm going to pack a quick lunch because it is time for me to eat again, probably by the time I get my toes done. That'll be around three something. So I'm kind of in a rush, which is like always my life, but we are about to go do this. So before I go to the nail salon, I just want to show you guys quickly what I'm going to bring with me just so I don't eat off. So I got the Trader Joe's mango jicama slaw and it has like a vinaigrette with it and it looks pretty good. If it's nasty, I have backups. I also got some pomegranate seeds. I'm obsessed with these. I probably should just buy a pomegranate and do it myself, but the convenience is worth the price. And then, then, come on. 
Then your girl found some organic hot Cheetos. They're uh, spicy cheese crunchies and they're 130 calories and you can have like a whole little snack bag full worth. So I'm just packing this in my bag. I got some ice cold water. All of this, including this whole salad thing with the dressing is 590 calories, which isn't bad. I highly doubt I'm gonna eat all of this though. So my lunch is probably like 400 calories and I'm just gonna throw that in my bag and then I will be at the nail salon. It is currently 7.35. I have 25 minutes to eat before my fast. I'm not super strict. Like if I was finished eating at 8.15, 12.15 tomorrow is not going to kill me to start eating, um, but I am going to eat within the next 25 minutes. I am not super hungry. I'm literally just getting home. I got my nails done. Can you guys see that? Like ice me out all summer pinky ring into the wedding ring. So I got my nails done. I had to run a couple of errands. Now I'm back home. It is 7.30. I've prepped dinner. If you're somebody like me, when it's late, like 7.30, 8 o'clock, I really don't like eating a full meal, like a heavy, you know, rice, protein, vegetable type of meal. Like that's just too heavy for me. So I'm more of a snacker when it gets later at night. For lunch, I did not end up eating all of the food that I showed you. So I did eat all of the Cheetos. If you don't know, one of my best friends is my nail tech. So I ended up splitting my lunch with her. Um, the jicama salad, it was okay. I only ate like a couple bites of it. I wouldn't buy it again, but like if you like tangy, sweet and sour salad, then maybe you'll like it. Personally, it just wasn't for me. I did eat all of my Cheetos and I ate half of my pomegranates. My lunch wasn't really 500 something calories. It was really more like 350. So for dinner, I am going on the lighter side. Let me show you what that looks like real quick. So this is my dinner here. I just have some California rolls. These are from Trader Joe's. The California rolls does not come with cucumbers. I just had some mini cucumbers in my fridge. I sliced that up. The California rolls does come with the ginger though. So I put some ginger on top and then I have a little suey sauce packet that I'm gonna put on top of there. Then I have about four ounces of fresh cut cantaloupe. I'm so excited for this. It is so sweet and I just love fresh melons and fruits in the summertime. It's just like divine in this heat. And then lastly, because I'm about to watch a program, I have a little bit of a snack mix. So these are everything pretzel crisp from Trader Joe's and then these are the everything hot Cheetos that I got from Trader Joe's as well. This whole little bowl right here is four ounces and is about 100 calories for the whole entire bowl. So I'm going to go eat my dinner. I hope you guys had a marvelous day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like the content I am producing. You want to see more of what I eat in a day to lose weight. I will make those videos if I know that you like it. So give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, join the family. Hit the bell notification so you can know when I post. And lastly, let me know in the comments how you're doing, what you want to see next. I love you all so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.